Hello everybody, Wild Trucker here, and welcome to another episode here on Wildcraft. So, uh, yep, yeah, up on the top of the nether, and we're going to start a new project today, but, um, yeah, it's going to be a, a sort of a long-term project. So, uh, as you can see, I'm on the roof of the nether, and I've been thinking about this, because, first of all, we've got this gold farm here, and if we head in that direction, somewhere along there is our nether hub, and then even further over there somewhere is my base, and then even further than that, we now have the guardian farm. And my next new project is even further than that, by about 3,000 blocks in the overworld. So um, I've been trying to think about transport. Now, we do have uh, transport below ground because, um, not there, but here, if we go down into the nether, uh, we should be able to, here we go, buy these pigs as he falls off. So we've got our normal sort of tunnels that we've got around and I'm trying to put ice on those and that sort of thing, which I think is really good for sort of um, traveling the short distances. Um, but I think we ought to have some kind of minecart system as well. Um, and some of that may be in this overworld. So uh, I've been having to think about it uh, and it's going to be something that I'm going to add to the game over time. But I want to show you guys just a few of the things I'm going to do. So let's just jump into my testing world a second. Okay, so welcome to the test world and I've set up a couple of things. First of all, this is my concept of a departure and arrival station because I think we need a main station which is going to control uh, leaving the main hub. Now to do this we probably want to go in one of four directions I would have thought, north, south, east or west. Um, so for example we might want to go to the Wither Farm or we might want to go to the Guardian Farm. So what we've got set up here is a, a basic station and this is something I'm probably going to change. Um, but the idea is if I want to go to the Wither Farm, now let's go to the Guardian Farm. So what we do is we press the button that torch comes on and what it does is changes this track. If we just reset it, you can see the track is facing that direction, which is its default direction. Um, and then uh, when we press the top button, the torch comes on to indicate that's the chosen destination. And then the track changes around there. So what actually happens if we get into the minecart, get in, press the button, we head off towards a guardian farm. We come to a station and there we are. Uh, when we want to return, we press the button and it comes back down the same track as we came out, but because the default position is facing the other way, it brings us around to the arrivals. And the arrivals essentially kicks us off using the uh, detector rail. Now, uh, what I'll probably do is rather than putting the cart there like that, um, what we'll probably do is actually break the cart on a cactus and put it into a dispenser um, and then when we fire the button we'll bring it out so it, it's just so there's not already um, either that will dispense one out ready or, or something like that so there's not there's always one ready but we're not going to have two crashing into each other so I'm going to probably change this design here slightly um, and as you can see that's reset itself so when it goes out what it does actually goes over here creates a redstone signal that comes underneath and that goes into the block which is essentially the reset button and resets it all. The other button is purely creating a signal and from here and then so it's activating the uh, the redstone it's staying on uh, via the torch comes down underneath and then that just literally turns this torch off underneath so that torch is normally on and it just turns it off and then we simply uh, so you just reset that so that's that's the basics of um, of what I'm doing there but we then come across the other problem so if you head over to if you want to head to the Guardian farm you're gonna go past my base so how do we deal with that we've got to have junctions but I don't want to be jumping out of minecarts all the time I want to stay in a minecart so this is the idea I've come up with is that when we come to a major junction um, say this one for example so as we come over bang we stop okay and I'm missing a piece of glass so we haven't quite stopped in the right place so what we will need is some kind of stop block um, let's just get some glass uh, that will do and let's get rid of that no can't pick anything up there we go 
Okay, so what we'll actually have um, is a piece of glass there. So as the minecart comes over, it hits the glass and drops straight down on that track. Okay, and it's out of the way, so it doesn't really matter. Um, now, what we've got here then is two choices. We can either go left or we can go right. Now, left, um, obviously, the track's already facing left, so we just hit that button and it will power the um, track underneath us there. So you can see that. So we've hit that button, it just powers that rail. Uh, and that's just very simple circuit there. This other one, however, it must power that rail, but what it's also got to do is rotate that track. And now, I've done some tests and that actually seems long enough. Um, we can sit in a minecart here. We can do that. There we go. Uh, get in the minecart. If we press this button, it's enough to push us out and um, there's no problems with the timing delay because that was one of my big worries was that um, we got to get this redstone signal from this button. Um, it powers the redstone underneath, which powers that block, which powers the rail. At the same time, it also travels over the top of where the rail would be going, because normally this would be the rail coming underneath here. Um, comes down the other side and then goes into this repeater, powers this block, which is what then turns that left and right. So um, the delay on it, I was worried about that it might not be you know, long enough, if you like, to sort of keep keep that open. But it seems to be working okay. Uh, we do have the option of this, though, um, which is sort of basically uh, a way of adding delay to a circuit. So all we need to do is uh, have this little circuit with two comparators. And what it does, a um, bit different to repeaters, if we power this, it stays on because the power from the comparators loses its signal. Uh, it sort of degrades, if you like. So if we hit that, you can see the light is still on, still on, and it stays on for a lot longer than the tick of the button. Um, so we have that as an option if we get, get into any problems. So, um, But I'm quite happy with all that, and I think we can hide that quite well as well, because the thing I was worried about was if this is the roof of the Never and Bedrock, I don't want to be going beneath it. So um, I have to come up with a way of, of going around it. So I think that kind of works. But I just wanted to show you guys that, because... Um, I'll probably be doing a lot of this, you know, off camera as we're building and showing you progress. Um, but I just really wanted to show you the sort of the, the redstone behind it and the mechanics behind it um, and how we're doing it all. So, uh, yeah. But if you want a tutorial on this, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to put one together for you. So back on Wildcraft and I guess I've got a little bit of planning to do because I've got to work out where I'm going to put the station, I guess, as a main station. Um, not sure if I want to. I guess we could put it here. Um, but then if other people want to put portals here to their, their places within spawn, that might interfere with it. And we are on right on the roof at the moment as you can see there's a bedrock um so what i might do uh let's have a think about this so we've got storage over there okay so i guess i i wouldn't necessarily want to go straight on the roof because some of the stuff uh, like if we wanted to go to the end it's just down there and it's not a massive journey but it's it's down that way there somewhere so uh, I think I'll have a chat with the others and, and decide where they think it's best to put it. It may be that we put it underneath this. So we have a layer, some steps going down into the station. We will have destinations on one of the wall that says go here, 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 here. And then quite simply, we can bring um, rail tracks up. And I, I'm kind of thinking as well that what I want to do, where, where we've got sort of things like this, this is okay to run on but it doesn't look the most prettiest. And what I might do is actually start making separate paths to the actual rail track. Um, so people can either go on the rail track and through the never that way, uh, and it might be a separate path. And it might be alongside the path. It might be that we have a railway going one way, and then, you know, sort of like this is sort of too wide, so we might have it three wide, railway down one side, and um, the running path down the other side sort of thing so people can still you know get on the ice here and, and do some running like this so it's um, yeah okay so I'll have a chat with the other guys and uh, have a think about this draw up some plans and then we'll get working on that project so uh, in the meantime let's go to spawn I've got someone to meet up with 
Well, come over to Spawn, and I'm joined by Mr. Smithy himself, who's hiding up the top there. Hello. Hey, I can see you down there in the snow. Yeah, and I can see you up in the sky there. You're going to come down and uh, greet us. I'm going to jump. Whee! Oh. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> It's a long way down. I think we need to make and you made some it. sort of jumps. <laughs> some sort of jumps. You've done that before, not made it, haven't you? Uh, yeah, well, I haven't done the same mistake again. Hey. Yes. Hey. Anyway, hey. We've, we've come over here because we thought we would do a little bit of a world tour because I've not been over in Spawn in a little while to have a look around. We've got a couple of new members on the server, so we thought we'd... Uh, have a look at what progress they've done, and I think Smithy's been doing some stuff, and there's some stuff happening in Andy's TARDIS over there. So yeah, we've come for a little bit of a, a world tour, and we need to get rid of this um, most of this snow stuff now, don't we? As well, so it's uh, Christmas we'll is over. Party. Yeah, I, th I think what we'll probably do is actually keep the snowman. I think the snowman's pretty cool, so um, maybe we'll keep him here as remnants of Christmas and take everything else down. Um, yeah, I would. I would like to keep the snowman. I think while it's still January, I think you should keep this. <coughs> the ice rink. Yeah. Yes. Funny enough, I was ice skating myself today. Oh, ah. Similar rink to this. So there we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I need to go and empty my inventory because if we're going over to your new fancy farm, I'm going to be empty inventory. But I just wanted mm. to come and have a look at the castle. Go up the stairs while I'm emptying my inventory because to see the new. Blocks I acquired from your farm. Ah, so you've been using the new prismarine, uh, or sea lanterns, basically. Yeah, let me make it dark. Yeah. Is that all right? Let me just go it's time much set. Better. Let me go time set a night. Let's just see, to see if we can see it a bit better. Yeah, there we go. Hey, yes. And it's now been dug out completely in the centre. Wow, that is, some, that is some dig. Uh, let me just get rid of all this rubbish. Do you need these next. ones in the uh, the glass floor, though? So. Uh, well, I've put them there to stop mobs spawning. Yeah, but uh, they won't spawn on glass, will they? So. Uh, well, oh no, they were walking in earlier on. That's what they were doing. Yeah, so you shouldn't really need those hanging ones. But the rest looks pretty cool. Yeah, the ones well, in the wall look really good as well. So. I want to read... I, put, I said before, we want to put some diorite on the rings round so it sort of hides them a bit more because they stick out at the moment. Yeah, the ones on the stairs look pretty cool, but then I think I started that off at the top, didn't I? Yes, That's you did. <laughs> right, let's just dump all that stuff in there. Right, I've got a clean inventory now, so where are we going first? Now you've messed around with the night, you can put it back today again. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, let me just show some on this. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Where's the moon? There's the moon in the sky. Uh, Where is it? I don't know. Oh. In the sky. Probably behind is it, you. Is it raining? Oh. Hello. Hold on, and we're joined by Andy live, and we're joined hey, how by you guys Andy. doing? <laughs> yeah, we're just doing turning the rain off because I couldn't find some. Uh... We're right, having a, we're having a bit off. of a world but... tour, Andy. Yeah, oh, in the... am I missing it? You yeah, are. I'll be home right. in about ten minutes. <laughs> okay, oh, well, come and join us. We'll come and join us when it. you get home. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do that. All right, see you after. All right, here, let me just show you the moon, guys, because I've got a new texture pack on here that I want to show you. Let me just uh, quickly load it while Trekker's going over there. Resource packs. I've got this John Smith Legacy Packs 1.7.10, and I'll show you the moon. That's what I wanted to show you off there. Oh, it's loud on Andy's. Oh, I'm right. sorry, let me... Uh, there we it. go. <laughs> right, here you go, guys. Oh, my God, look at my castle. Oh, whoa. Uh, yeah, so we've got the John Smith Legacy Pack. There's two versions of this. They've so just updated. Oh, look at Trekker. He's got some cool armor on now. Whoa. Uh, yeah, but look at the moon. That's what I wanted to show you. That is well cool. Uh, and I've also got the Vatix Faithful on as a secondary pack. So when there's like, uh, and it's a 1.8 pack, so when you get like these uh, sea lanterns, it keeps the Vatix pack as well and changes to John Smith. Right, let's go. We'll keep this on for now. We're going to follow Trekker. Follow Trekker. Okay, what should we go and have a look at first? So we've had a look. You've done no real big additions apart from that farm at the top there, isn't it? You've got a gold farm above your... Yeah, but it's rubbish compared with yours. <laughs> I use yours. Of course. So of what course. I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it into a diving platform, I think. Okay, fair enough. So, <laughs> so we're uh, going to have some base jumping. Well, well, we'll leave Andy, see if Andy gets on the server in a minute. We'll leave his place. Let's head over here because we've got uh, Gaming Pumpkin is a, a new member on here as well as um, Zane. Uh, Zane plays. Uh, and some of you 
guys who've been following our channels for a while will probably know those guys from um uh from Zanecraft. sort of yeah Zanecraft, that's it previous server and what have you so it's um yeah so uh yeah no it's uh, they've come and joined us on the server which is pretty cool and this is pumpkin's new build which he's obviously nowhere near finished but it's starting to look pretty cool i think it's uh very um castle and uh yeah, no, I think that looks... Uh, that's What do you reckon, Smithy? Well, I'm just trying to come in here without killing that. I'm trying to kill that. Uh... Whoa. I like that platform thing. It looks really good in his texture pack. I must admit. Yeah, I'm not but... sure why he's got that Ooh. up there. So. Oh. <laughs> the, oh, that platform, by the way, is my uh, platform for my aircraft, my flying plane that I was doing. Oh, right. Is that, that the one you set off flying and then you've lost it and it's flying somewhere over the Boy. server? Actually, if you head towards, if you stand on it, if you walk all the way towards Pumpkin's base and keep walking, look yeah. up and you'll see it in midair. No. Have, have, have you managed to yes. stop it? <laughs> I managed to stop it, yes. <laughs> oh, actually, I actually stopped it and I sent one back. And the one oh, okay. I sent back it didn't get back all the way, but that one's in midair. The one I did stop, if you go like 100, 200 blocks down, you'll see it. But the uh, one heading back, you'll see it there. <laughs> if, you, if you keep walking, just look up. <laughs> well, I so can't you, see it. So you've been playing around with slime blocks and mechanics. Yes. <laughs> okay, pretty cool. Actually, it's really simple to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there you okay. are, Trekker, up there. I'll be, I'll be quiet again. <laughs> That's all right. You listen in. <laughs> well, we were just yeah. wondering what the oh. platform was for. Shoot. I yeah, I food. had the music on, so uh, over here. Well, I'm at the store right now buying some uh, cold medicine for the wife, so. Very good. Oh, right. Can I make the river from here? Yeah, hold on. These things are trying to get me. Oh, come on. You see, you're, not, you're not supposed to look at them. You know that, don't you? No, I know. <laughs> if I look at this one through this bit. Come on. Hey. He just comes around the back. <laughs> and, he, hey, and he stole that's, a block. That's, hey, did you see that? He went straight through. He's that behind you. Well cool. Behind you. <laughs> he's coming for you again. He's going to do it again. Oh, he's stopped now. Oh, it's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have some fun. On coming, the yeah, his mate's coming up behind you now, and his other mate. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> Got one. You got one. <laughs> got the other one, didn't I? It's like a comedy show. That's, uh, yeah, we yay, go. There you go. Right. See right, if I can jump off this now. Way splash. Just. <laughs> oh, a bit of too much action there. So, what's this house here? Uh, this house here. Which house where? This uh, house. This is uh, all Pumpkins, Gaming Cup Pumpkins, um, well, this, new this, castellated area. And this one over here was Volcanoes. That's it? Volcanoes oh. House, yes. Yeah, Volcano, who's gone to Doc M server and has not come to see us very often. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> not moaning much, Volcano, but I, we are. I don't think he's been very well, so he, he didn't manage to get his <laughs> Volcano finished on uh, oh, Doc M's no. realms, did he? So it's, uh, but there we go. So right. it's. Uh, but yeah, that's coming across, coming across quite nicely. I'll look forward to see when it's built. He sent me a, a schematic of one he'd done, so I know roughly what it's going to be uh, finally like, but we'll uh, we'll keep checking up on that. Um, right, shall we go over to Andy's TARDIS? Yes. See if there's anything different over there. I yeah, understand there's another floor on it, but... Uh, oh, really? Something like that. Now, which do you think, from from here, Smithy, you can see your tower and Andy's TARDIS. Yeah. What do you reckon is better, the star or the snowflake? Uh, the snowflake. <laughs> the star's got to be ripped down, because I need some of those to do something else. The star's got to come off, and the <laughs> castle has got to go up to encompass the... Uh, I'll tell you what, it doesn't half look good in. Look at this the with diving the diving board. <gasps> wow, wait till you see this on video. This is, oh, look <laughs> at the moon. between Between the castle and... The it is massive uh, going between the TARDIS. Of course, let me see this Christmas Doc True. It was just the best. It was just so good. Yeah, I don't actually watch it myself, to be honest. Oh, so. It was brilliant. Right, so, let's go and see. What's happening there? Oh, okay. So this is a tree farm. Oh, what the? <laughs> this is Andy's tree farm. I said build a tree farm, so he's built a tree farm. He has, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this this will... Um, Cut the tree, push the tree over, plant a tree, and then you just stand here and get your wood sort of thing. So, yeah, that's the idea behind it. It pushes the wood over here. And, um, yeah, evidently. Wow. But you can just, yeah, plant trees, bone meal it, and that sort of thing. So uh, we do need a nice, good tree farm on here. So, um, 
and yeah. notice the floor. He has put... <laughs> we have got an abundance of sea lanterns now, which everybody will sh see very shortly in the video. If you've seen Wild Trekkers' video, uh, you will already have seen it, but uh, we are going there. We've got to get there. We shall go there and have a look in a moment, yeah. That's, yeah. That's pretty good. So, right, how do we get over here? Is it over here? There's the switch. Oh. Whee! Oh, you're going in this house. <laughs> see if there's anything. Have you shut his door again? No. Does it, need, does it need yeah, to? There's the button. There, shut it down. Yeah, okay. You mustn't leave Andy's back door. Whoop, where are you going now? <laughs> I don't want to go into Andy's back door, thank you. <laughs> oh, That's get out. What oh, he said. Where are you going now? I don't know. Going up here. See if anything changed up here. It's ages since I've actually been up in Andy's TARDIS. No, so. I don't think so. Where are you been? You've just gone outside or straight up? No, straight up. Straight up the ladder. I hear spiders. Uh. <laughs> is that trying to spell something out of his chest or is he just taking something oh, all the spare ones away? <laughs> He's taken some out. Yeah. This was, I'm sure this was glass before this floor. Was that the one below his glass? I'm uh, not sure because it was a tile. Yeah, so no, we're, he, up on, we're up on top now. Yeah, yeah, so he's taken the one, uh, he's taken the glass, there's the glass out there in this area. And look, spiders down in the next floor below. Whoa. And mobs. <laughs> oh, he's got snow golems on the roof. Loads of them. I see. Yes, what's he doing with these? He's got a spider infestation down below, so I'm not going to go oh, down there. How do you get in here? He's got like a ton of snow golems up here. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. All, all, all uh, inside, like all locked in the glass panels. Right, where are you going now? No, oh, I was just coming up. Let's just have a look. So. Look, look, snow golems over there. Living up in here. Well, it is Christmas. It was Christmas. Ah, uh, okay. It's probably a snow farm. I can't find the gates. Can't find the gates. Probably, yeah. Probably isn't gates. I thought there would... Where's the snow farm going to? Andy, you'll have to explain that one. I don't know if it is. Oh, well. Who, who needs... um? Who needs gates when you've got double jump boost on your... Um, I know. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, how do you get back out though? He double you... jump boost again. So you've, you've got a beacon many... running. He's just got them in there for show, hasn't he? Um, I don't know. You probably stand in the corner and um, glitch, glitch the snow if you've got a shovel. Ah, oh, right. Well, I won't trust it. Right, how do we get out of here? Double jump boost <laughs> again. Here we go. Hey, right. Okay. So which part of this are we jumping down from? Uh, ooh, I wouldn't jump down from here. Oh yeah, we will. This... What? What? Just about here? Ready? Oh, hold on. Ah! Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. I right. love my... Come on. <laughs> where, where are we going to head over to next? Uh, gonna... I think we'd better go over to your farm, aren't we? Okay. You've, um, you've, have you done a recent tour of my base and seen things like no. the sugar cane farm? No. Right. That's what we'll do. We'll go okay. there first. Well, we'll cut the video here and we'll yep. see you over there. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of a tour. Um, we did go over with Smithy to my base, but I kind of thought, since we've only just um, recorded that ourselves in the last video, you probably wouldn't want to see it again. So, uh, yeah, but if you do, go and check out Smithy's video. He's uh, he's recorded the, uh, the tour of my base and the Guardian Farm. So, I'm back over here in Spawn, and... Yeah, we've had a bit of a clear up, so um, I've got rid of most of the things. These uh, few uh, parcels here do have some presents in them, so I'm going to leave them there for a bit. And uh, if the people don't claim them, I'll probably just move the chest to their um, to their areas. So uh, yeah, and we've left the uh, snowman there. I think that's quite cool, and the ice rink's there for a little while longer as well. But um, yeah, still a bit to clear up. I keep coming across bits of snow left by the golems which is always a pain, um, but hey. Uh, so what I thought we'd do, just to finish off now, uh, we did. Uh, we were talking to Andy earlier on in that, uh, that video, and he mentioned, now just for that, you're going to get it. I was going to let you live, but no. Uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, baby. Um, yeah, so Andy was mentioning that he had this thing and he started a flying machine off. So um, I think we'll probably go and check that out. So in theory, it should be over that direction. I thought it might be over there, but looking at that, that looks like a back wall with some obby in it. So 
he's probably had it flying off in that direction over there, I would have thought. So let's go for a quick wander and see if we can't find Remnants' flying machine. I don't think that's it over there because that's just dirt. Yeah, that's dirt from the um, previous... Uh, well, in fact, it's from uh, when the world spawned, actually. It was like that. So let's have a look over here. Can we see anything apart from lots of mobs? Oh, what's that right in the distance? There's something up there, isn't there? Right, let's go and deal with these guys, and then we'll check it out. Hey, you. Gonna dance. Okay. And hopefully it'll be light soon anyway, so that won't bother us. And unlike Smithy, we're not going to go looking at those Endermen, so, um, yeah, it looks like actually it's out over the ocean, isn't it? So, uh, get some food so I can run a little bit more, which means we probably should have killed the Endermen to go and uh, end a pearl up to it, but, uh, yeah, let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so there it is. He's a uh, abandoned flying machine in the middle of the sky. Um... Yeah, that's uh, it's not deep ocean, but it's, it is fairly deep, I think. So it's not um, not easier to pill it pill it up for him. So, uh, but maybe there's a bit of island over here. Let's go and have a look. Can't even hit it with snowballs. Look, it's quite high up, really, isn't it? Okay, well we've got to, got a bit of an island here, so. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get up to it. We've got some snow blocks and some coarse dirt. Okay, let's go up in the snow, shall we? Okay, here we are. So, um, yeah, he's obviously using these uh, blocks to push it forward, push it forward. Um, but I'm not quite sure where his firing mechanism would be for that. Because it's going to be have to something that toggles it on and off, and I would imagine he's going to. It looks like he's set himself a little place to sit in as well here, but they're just fence gates. Um, so yeah, I would imagine. Although that's so that's just a normal piston that pushes in that direction. Um, but I would imagine that would have to be somehow fired up to there to then activate it. But it's kind of separated away from there, isn't it? It's almost as if that's pushed it, he's taken something off it. Because this bit here, again, that's going to push against there. That's going to push it away. And then, well, that looks like it might be coming back in that direction. I'm not quite sure. I mm, have to get Andy here to have a look at it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave the episode there. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on the next episode here on Wildcraft. So thanks for watching, and see you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Ooh.